Earl Glanshaw, Foreman of Township Chevrolet, and we're gonna stick with our how-to segment. And today we're gonna show you guys how to change your own wiper blades. Phil, roll the intro. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is uh, just gonna show you a few different uh, makes and models here. So we got a Ford Focus here that we're selling on the used car lot. Um, we're gonna show you how to change the wiper blade in this one. So obviously you wanna check your wiper blade uh, for a few different things. So you can either check them on the car, or we'll check them off the car at this point, just so we'll show you how to do that. So if you look here, there's a clip, and this is the style that this blade is. There's a few different styles. See, there's a couple of tabs here. Some of them you actually press in. Uh, these ones don't, but you can see there's a lock here on the end. So we're gonna go ahead and push this lock ahead which allows that to roll ahead and then we slide it back and that's as simple as that to place your wiper blade. One thing you want to be careful of is uh, there's a spring in this blade that keeps it tight to the window and if uh, you're doing this outside or someone bumps into it and that comes down it's got a, quite a bit of force and it'll actually crack the uh, it can actually crack your windshield right so we'll just show you what we got this blade off what you're looking for so if you take a look on the blade here this is where the rubber is laying if you look down the blade uh, if it's laying off to one side constantly when it's sitting at rest with no weight on it, it's worn out. Uh, you want to check for see if there's any rips or tears. You can actually clean these too with a little bit of Windex or window cleaner and a, and a rag or a paper towel and rub it down because what you'll do is you get like a like a black residue on it that'll streak the window. So, so we're gonna we're gonna say now that we got the new blade in our hand, we've taken it out. Uh, the blade's gonna most blades, the universal ones, will come with a few different. Uh, uh, connectors on them that you can remove on and off so you'll see this one actually has a number four on it here so when you look on the back of the packaging and the blade it'll show you uh, the three or four you know main styles that this one may fit and you're going to do a measurement on your blade uh, from end to end so on the guys toolbox tool benches here we've got these set up and if you look here it's just a tape measure so you're going to set this blade down and you're going to roll it across so right now we know we're into roughly a 28 inch blade so We've got the new blade. We've got it, uh, the sheathing. They usually come with the sheathing to protect them. We got the sheathing all off. And what you're gonna do is this is the exact opposite how we took it off. You're gonna start these tabs under the little, little lock there. And then you're gonna hold that, that side tight and then you're gonna roll this up. And you're gonna see that clip's gonna lock into place. You're gonna make sure that's secure. And you're gonna set that back down there. Uh, and you're good to go. So that's that wiper blade done. Okay, so right now we're gonna work on this uh, Buick Envision. It's obviously a newer car. Uh, this kind of got a little, little uh, kind of a combination between the old style blades and the new style blades. One thing you want to be careful of too: some cars, when you try to, when you try to lift this blade up to get at it to work, sometimes it won't clear the hood. So you want to make sure that you've, uh, you're clearing it. Uh, some vehicles you can turn the ignition on, and, and when the wiper blade comes up a little bit, you can turn the key off and it'll stay where it is. Some won't allow you to do it. That keeps coming back to that rest point. So just want to make sure you got good clearance here when you go to take it off, so you don't scratch your hood. So. On this style blade here, it's got the old kind of hook style, uh, but it's a little different in how it's held on. And the way this one operates, you've got this, this, uh, this little locking tab here, and you're gonna get underneath there with your fingernail, you're gonna get underneath there with a screwdriver and lift that up, and you can see that swings out of the way. And that's the lock that holds the blade on. Then you're just gonna grab the blade and slide it back, and it has enough, uh, enough clearance to get out. And if you look, it's got the old style kind of hook on it here, uh, the older, older style blades, but it's, it's a little different kind of blade. So this one here is like a, a hybrid style blade, they call it. So if you look inside, it's got the old style hinges and stuff, but it's got this covering over top of it. Uh, the covering's there to keep the snow and ice and stuff out from building up, which causes these hinges not to work correctly. So then you get uh, wipers that kind of streak. Um, the only thing you gotta watch with the covered wiper blades like this is they tend to catch a lot of wind. So on the highway, sometimes that wind will actually keep, you know, it'll keep them to lift up. But if you look on this blade, you'll actually see it's, it's, it's different on one side to the other. So what this company has done, they've, uh, they've almost put like kind of a, a fan blade effect on this side. So the actual wind going across the windshield actually helps hold the wind, the window down. So it just goes to show you different blade companies, uh, different innovations. And if you know, spend a little more money on blades, you get a little better product. So this one here, if we look straight down, this is standing up nice and straight, rub my finger along, there's no rips or tears. It, the rubber's nice and supple there, it's not hard. And when the rubber gets hard, that's when you get that chattering going across the window as the wipers jump and it's kind of noisy. So this blade looks good, everything's good. The hinge points are all working, all the rubber's in place, so this blade doesn't need to be changed. So we'll go ahead and reinstall that. And so we're gonna flip that little clip up again. We're gonna line that back up and just slide that in. Go straight ahead until it bottoms out and then hit the lockdown. There, that, that blade's done. 
another easy blade, same same thing on the other side. So um, what we'll maybe do now is we'll uh, jump into maybe a little older vehicle. It's got the old hook style and uh, we'll uh, take a look at that kind. Okay, so in the uh, Buick there I was showing you, right now we're into a, an Impala, it's a few years older than the Buick and you can see that I was telling you about the clearance in the hood. You can actually see where that's gonna contact here if I try to lift that up. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'll see if the keys are in this vehicle. Now I'll turn the key off and now the wipers have parked themselves up in the middle of the stroke. So now I can go ahead and lift that up I got lots of clearance here on, on the hood, it's not going to hit, and I can work at the wiper blade. So this is the older hook style wiper blade. They all pretty much uh, go on and off in the same manner. Um, same style end as the, as the Buick we were working on a minute ago. The only difference is the way the lock goes to kind of to, to remove it. So underneath here, there's a uh, locking tab that you have to lift up or press down to get it unlocked. Sometimes these are tricky, but, and the older the, the wiper gets, the more brittle the plastic is. Okay, so we get that tab unlocked here. And you go ahead and you slide that wiper blade back and you'll see that little tiny square hole that's in the wiper blade and that's what the lock slides into. So either if the lock's in the bottom, you have to pull down. And if the lock's in between the hook, you lift up on that. So we're gonna set that down just nice and easy so it doesn't hurt anything. And you can see here's, here's a wiper blade that should be replaced. So this is the same kind of hybrid design as the last blade we worked at, but it doesn't have that flam, fan blade section on one side. So this is gonna catch the wind worse and you could put this blade on either direction on the car. So this one here, you don't have to worry about that. But the only thing is you'll see this blade in the top, it's the rubber's coming out. And if you look straight down, you can obviously see that it's out and the blade's starting to lay over a little bit on this side. So this blade wiper blade should be replaced. It's probably chatters and it probably doesn't clean the window very well. So we're going to assume that we got the new blade here. You're going to put on this U hook style clip you want. You're going to slide that up in there until you hear the click and then you're good to go. And then you're going to turn your key back on. Allow the wipers to park. And that's how you install a wiper blade on these, on these cars. So a couple things to just keep in mind when you're getting your wiper blades, if you're getting a universal set, you wanna flip that package open and look on the back to make sure that the style blade that you have is on there. Uh, most places you buy blades, they'll have a catalog there, some sort of uh, interactive uh, kind of iPad there. You can go through a select your year, make model. Uh, if you're getting a universal set and you're at a, at a spot that doesn't have that uh, catalog set up, either digital or paper, uh, the length is real important. So. And you want to make sure you put the right length because driver and passenger side on some cars, they're uh, different from passenger to driver. And if you go ahead and you swap those around, you can actually do a bit of damage to your car. You can damage your wiper blades, the new ones you put on, or you can damage your actual motor transmission when they, when they overlap, depending on how the wiper style, how the wipers run. So uh, length, clip style, and make sure you put them on, you know, on the right way, you're great. Um, other than that, wiper blades pretty easy to change. Rear wiper blades on a, on a lot of hatchbacks and minivans and, and wagons and stuff, they, they go on and off the same way. So um, hope that's helped you guys out. Next time you have a wiper blade you need to have changed. Uh, it's coming on winter time, so a good time of year to think about changing your blades. Uh, you've been driving them all summer, lots of bugs and stuff. Uh, you got some uh, dirt build up on your windshield and uh, it's you know plugged up your blades or your blade rubbers are getting worn out. So just come on down and see us if you, if you need a set for your car. and. Uh, We'll get you set up with a good set of wiper blades and ones that you're looking for would be all seasons or winter blades or um, so there's a few different designs to look at so uh, that's been wiper blades and uh, we look forward to seeing you